Princess Kate goes missing during a big announcement The Business Task Force, set up by Duchess Kate in 2023, has published a groundbreaking new report revealing a potential £45 billion, $57 billion, boost to the UK economy through her early years' investments. However, she was not present at Tuesday's official announcement. A report was published. She has been absent from public appearances and official royal events since January, when the princess underwent her first abdominal surgery in London. In March, she received a cancer diagnosis and announced that she was undergoing preventative chemotherapy. Kensington Palace on Tuesday published a report from the Royal Foundation Early Years Task Force entitled Prioritizing Early Years for Happier. Princess established a task force in March 2023 to transform the way society supports early childhood children and those around them. Healthier societies, without comment or praise from the Duchess. She also founded the Royal Centre for Early Childhood Education in 2021 and launched the Early Childhood Education Awareness Campaign Shaping Us in January 2023. The task force brought together eight of the UK's leading companies to share their experiences and explore how a focus on children's early years can lead to a healthier and more productive workforce. Tuesday's report is the first major outcome of the task force. Duchess Kate did not contribute to the report through her introduction or opening appearance, as is normally expected in projects of this kind. But she did not contribute to the report through her introduction or opening appearance, but she was joined by Christian Christian, chief executive of the Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood Education. Today marks another milestone in our efforts to make early childhood a priority across society, he said in a press release about the Business Task Force's report. She was mentioned in Guy's statement. Some of the UK's most important companies are making a loud call to business colleagues to prioritise young children and their parents, for the benefit of our society and economy. Whether it's helping families get the support they need, prioritising the social and emotional well-being of children and adults in their lives, or building a culture that prioritises early childhood, economics matters. There is huge potential. You have to play your part. All businesses, regardless of type or size, including our eight founding members, early childhood education centers and Princess Princess, can join us and explore how our country can support the critical early years. We encourage you to help change that. Since announcing her cancer diagnosis on March 22, Kate has not made any public appearances or made any comments or statements regarding her professional endeavors. In a video statement announcing the development of her own health condition, she said that although she needs to take time to focus on her health, she looks forward to returning to her public role. We hope you understand that our family needs time, space and privacy until treatment is complete, she said. Revealed. I have always enjoyed my job and look forward to returning when possible, but right now I need to focus on making a full recovery. Kensington Palace has not released a tentative date for the princess's return to public life. To launch the report on Tuesday, the eight founding members of the Royal Foundation Early Childhood Education Business Task Force issued a statement acknowledging Duchess Gates' desire to involve the business community in her early childhood development. Last year, Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales brought us together. She taught us about our approach to early childhood and how early childhood is a prime time to change the lives of children now and their future life outcomes. We asked them to think fundamentally about providing opportunities, they said. Since then, our organizations have come together to share knowledge and experience, deepen our understanding of the importance of early childhood development and build business models for this comprehensive and compelling change. Ta! If we do this right, the results for our companies, economies and societies will be visible for all to see. Today's workforce will be happier and more productive, 
meeting all the complexities and challenges of the modern world. The workforce of the future with the skills needed to do the same. As leaders of one of the UK's largest companies, we have a responsibility and a clear interest in driving change in this sector. Adding £45.5 billion of annual value to the national economy. Hope this report will encourage businesses of all sizes across the UK to get involved and help improve health for all. We hope to contribute to building a happy society.